every blue top you see is a home without a roof. It's like it was a tornado entered the daycare. I, I bowed my head and I start to wept. I wept because the day before we put so much energy and so much strength into getting the daycare ready. And you know, I, I, I bowed my head and I said, God, how, how, how are we gonna get through this? Area? Nervous a little bit? No, 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 no. We're waiting, uh, we're waiting a long time to actually get back to work and do something. Yeah, do something. So we all excited, pumped up, ready to go. So whatever they let me assist in, I'll be assisting as much as possible. They let me do. I'll be right here. We started by stripping away all of the damaged building materials. Drywall. Tiled floors. Wooden furniture. Anything that could harbor black mold had to go. It was an emotional process, but necessary to keep the kids safe. Once everything had been cleaned out and sanitized, it was time to rebuild. structure, one that could stand up against future hurricanes. By partnering with a local organization called My Brother's Workshop, we were able to design a much stronger roof that uses hurricane straps, rafter blocking, pressure treated plywood, and 26 gauge galvalin. To pick up this roof, you'd need to pick up the whole building. Rebuilding the interior would have cost the Littles tens of thousands of dollars, but because we're powered by volunteers, we were able to do it for free. We put in new walls, floors, and ceilings, working six days a week for seven straight weeks. Once the work site was safe, we invited the kids to come in and help us paint. This is resilience. This is renewal. This is recovery.